Is it, this is the greatest moment of my life. What is this? What is this? Oh, hold on. No, wait a minute. <sighs> okay. Harold Hallibut is a handmade narrative game about friendship and life on a city-side spaceship submerged in an alien ocean. Join Harold as he explores a vibrant retro future world in his quest to find the true meaning of home. Hi guys, so I always try to find things that are a little bit different or a little bit quirky in some way and this I thought was truly gorgeous. This is still, it's still in the making, this is just going to be a little demo, but this is tr truly one to keep your beady eyes on. This is absolutely beautiful. this oh my god the animation is gorgeous I love the art style I need you to come with me. Oh, hi, Major. What's the matter? Is that leak bothering you again? It's your fine, your unpaid fine. Oh boy. I had a fine? You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. Can you settle it now? Uh, no. But wait, I I'm sure I topped it up. Improper tube card management, Halibut. Oh, you boy. surely recall that since last week, the energy district tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit. If an onward journey to the social district is intended, oh God, in he loves his job, doesn't he? To the usual weekly turquoise credit. All Wait. right, but only last month it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold, but the rules make me. Now let's get you over to the fine secretary so we can all get on with our day. No oh, bollocks. How about I say fucking no? <laughs> oh, poor Harold. Fell foul of the end user insufficient funds clause. I'm afraid if you really can't pay, you're going to have to think of someone who can. <laughs> I guess that means you'll have to wait for the professor again. Who knows what she sees in you? Ah. Right, I'm needed elsewhere. There's a disturbing rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently. All right. For both our sakes, I'll okay, see you again soon, Harold. Yeah, whatever. Later. The first replacement of our inaugural sea campaign got water. Castle Chop oversaw the introduction. 
production of digital real-time in 15,342 AC. And in 15,342.5 AC, we held the first in... So, what are you in for? Oh, I'm just here for the great company. Aren't you a little young to start working for Allwater? What? No, I meant... Because it was a joke, doofus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Could you let oh, me in peace now? Oh, sure. we Will do. Have fun. <sighs> oh, Harold. Felix? Hi, Ma. Uh, look, before you say anything... Whatever your excuse is, it'll have to wait. Busy, busy times. Mr. Secretary, please charge whatever Felix's fine is to the company tab, please. Wow, it must be nice. Van Vart. Have a pleasant Van Vart. Oh, what a good you name. Too, Master Van Vart. Freedom! Have fun, Harold! Yeah, thanks, you rich little bastard. <laughs> we reluctantly interrupt your daily business for an important... <laughs> for some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora One. Dear people, crew, and company. Oh. We seem to have discovered something super cool. Mm. Please do consider to congregate tonight at the Agora Theatre to for some important information. Ooh, how important! Alright. Oh, Harold, here you are. I've been looking all over. Who are you? Buns to the lab, if you please. I do beg your pardon, ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. A completely reasonably priced and fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. Do you? Sir, please do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. Ha yes. Come on, Harold. Oh, we're like a... We're like a strong woman. See ya, loser. Mr. Halibut, you'll need this before oh. you go. What is it? A ticket home? Yes, and only home. It's not valid for any other routes. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And your tube pass should be unlocked again within 24 hours. So you'll be back to the luxury of fully automatic tube travel eligibility approval once again. Whoa. I can't wait. All right, bye then. Every time I need you, Harold, it's something else. Yeah, no, What's I'm wrong sorry. With you? <laughs> I can't handle your shenanigans while we're in the middle of this mess. Shenanigans? No, I know. I'm sorry. Next time. This must have an underlying cause. Hmm. I remember when you were still in school and your teacher telling me about how you would just stare out of the window, oblivious to her even shouting at you. It's like you've never snapped out of that daydream. I was never in a daydream, just the other stuff was boring. Mm. Harold. Same. I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. Only boring people get bored. Uh. Yes. I'm sorry, Professor. I'm not sure that's true, actually. I disagree with that. Disagree with that statement. And I fucking love the art. This is well sexy. Oh. My bad. Oh no, you idiot! Sorry. <laughs> Hold on, I'll get there in a minute. What am I? Am I? Destination okay. chosen. We hope you Got enjoy there. your all water chooses Thanks. journey. I'm using a keyboard, which isn't the best thing. Use a fucking control if you got one. I no longer have one, but you can use your keyboard like the Wasadden uh, spacebar. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. Why is the line active? What needs improving? Where are we actually? Oh, we're going to the lab district. Is that where we're going? Oh yeah, that's where she went. Okay. It will be for the good of your overall long-term tube. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. That's well smart. 
Nice of Yik. But Harold, I'm tired of chasing after you like you're a stupid butterfly. Hang on. What's a butterfly? That sounds silly. Oh! A butterfly is an insect from Earth. They know anything, Harold. They had beautiful patterns on their wings and drank pollen from flowers. I suppose you could say they often appeared in uh, extra natural moments in life. On the other mm. hand, they were terribly inefficient, flighty, overly trusting, and delicate. Ergo, you never take responsibility, and I never know where to find you next. <sighs> I can't all be like you, you know. Sort of a struggle with everyday life stuff. Oh, I know I drift off a bit sometimes, but but all water raised the tube fares again, and they never announce it properly. This time it really was an honest mistake. Plus, there was this woman who Quiet, Harold. No. We don't have time for your flights of fancy right now. There's important work afoot. Oh yeah. Have you checked the blockage in the filter station yet? And did you need to feed the fish too? Ah, yes. Those two. I'm on the case. Bye, Professor. <sighs> Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, uh, I'm sure those are all my tasks for the day. You seem to have waylaid your PDA. Ah, yeah, Please I knew that. I wonder you get anything done around here. Ah, thanks, Professor. It's got a life of its own. Strangely enough, I noticed you hadn't added your daily task list to it, and I don't want to have to remind you about them again. Oh, thanks. Let's see. Uh, so I access the list. It'll come back to me. Just go to the four selection buttons. Okay. Um, where were they again? The upper right of the pad. I oh my God. Top of the four buttons, right? Oh, tab, open, close, PDA. Cool. Uh, then I use the navigation knob to no. highlight and then hit the bottom button. Precisely. Okay, right. great. And it's the rightmost button to go back, right? Indeed. Now hop to it. And I'll see you at the Agora Arcades when you're done. Right. Uh, yep. Main tasks. Uh, clean the filter. Can I not go down and select that? Feed the fish. Okay. A snoop around. Anything in here? Some sort of storage room. Anything of any interest? No, I guess not. Seating area, very nice. I can track to anything. Okay. Oh, I'm going down there, mate. What a threat! It's out of food. Better ask Cyrus about this. Ask Cyrus about fish food. Where's fucking Cyrus? Cyrus! Oh. Can we walk up the stairs?
But then where's this Cyrus? Give me some fish food. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, Harold. Lydia loses. Oh, Senor Tenenbaum. You too. I was just hoping to watch some Sun Tzu's Ash. Got any idea how to work the old telly? Yeah, Probably not. I think it's one of those all water add only models. Ah. It should still be good for watching the announcement on tonight, though, right? You're really going to watch that? They'll just announce another tubed price hike again. Well, who knows? Diego from Health Services said he heard something about the reveal of something important. Is that so? Hmm. Steaming coffee in big mugs, crystal chalices with pulpy fruit juice, crispy warm waffles. What is Sonsu's Ash? Yes, Sonsu's Ash. Eternal love. Eternal love. Best and only Turkish novella we have on board. I thought season 18 was bad, well, with all the drama around Emery's cousin and whatnot. It's worth powering through to season 36, though. Season 36! Yeah, I think not. I'll try to check it out sometime. No, we won't. What brings you to the lounge, anyway? Would you guess that the tubes to the utility district and the social district are down again? Strangely, yes. I can't believe that. Does that mean school is out? Yep. The bambinos are happy, and I don't mind the time off. But if it goes on much longer, they'll forget everything. Won't they do their homework? Maybe. The whole social district is off limits right now. So at least there won't be much else for them to do. Is that why you're hanging out here? Mostly. It's just kind of cozy here, though, you know? I suppose it is. Anyway, don't mind me, Harold. Bye, Chris. See you later, Harold. I'll be here if you want some company. Yeah, I won't. Everything looks really nice. Really well designed. Oh. Tentacle on the window. Is that it? I have no idea what I just did. I've made it up as I went along. Clean as a whistle again. Is that it? No, oh, okay, we've done that. Ask Cyrus about fish food. Sai is a guy to ask about fish food, okay. We've got to find Sai. Wherever Sai is. Honestly, the way he walks upstairs is fucking hilarious. Let's go along here. Botanical concepts. Is 
Anybody called Cyrus in here? Are you Cyrus? You better be. Hey, Cy. Hey. Oh, hey, Harold. Uh, what's going? I, I mean, uh, how's up? Just doing my usual rounds. Trying to clean the fish and feed the filter station. Super nice. How are the fishies doing? They're swimming away. Looking good. But there's no food left in the fish feeding machine. Ah, lovely. Yeah, I've been thinking about fish a lot recently. I've been wondering if, you know, even fish blood is such a good fertilizer, what, the slow-release phosphates and nitrogen? But we don't want to hurt fish. If samples were taken, we could somehow synthesize Oh my the god! Sorry. That sounds very interesting, but what about the food for the fish themselves? Hmm? Oh, yes! Sorry, rat. Didn't I restock the other night? Nope. <sighs> Must have just thought about it. I'll have to formulate some more. You make the fish food yourself? Oh, I do indeed. I'm working on a new recipe at the moment, in fact. But, I mean, can fish even taste? It's not just about taste, it's about What nutrition. is up with them? We want their gills to function optimally, don't we? And their pigments to express as vividly as possible, a bit like flowers. Sigh, sigh. New fish food would be great. I'm sure they'll love it. Well, I'll get right on it. Promise. Yeah, I think I have a test batch. Uh, yep, here. A uh, little taster to keep them going. Uh, you should try some too. Uh, oh. Thanks. I'll let you know what they think. Well, thank you very much, Sai. Right. We're hit. Oh. Well, did mm. you see that? Was that fish real? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, even if it wasn't, their methods are getting way more sophisticated lately. Oh. Yeah. Mm, I kind of look forward to seeing what stunt they're going to pull next. Me too. As long as I don't have to clean it up. Do you remember their first messages? Ha, uh, yeah. Wasn't it something about Fedora not being able to take off being a conspiracy? Yes, on all those little flyers. Handwritten, too. What did that fish message mean, do you think? Hmm, I guess something about exploring the planet? Didn't it say what's out here? Ooh, like they've hidden something. Maybe they mm. think the ocean is a conspiracy, too? Well, I guess we'll know, eventually. Now we go back and we feed the fishies! Fishies, I've got your food. Little fishy, your little dishy is huh. now served. Okay, Herald Bot Diagnostic Report. <laughs> scanning, scanning, all tasks completed satisfactorily. Enjoyment evaluation, minimal. Energy <laughs> levels depleted. Recharging required. Next destination, Agora Arcades. Now then. Agora Arcade, there we go. Tube ticket only goes home, but I don't know if we're gonna fucking get there. Ah, 
wow, why isn't this working? So typical. I suppose the ticket reactivation is still going to take a while. No, what do we do? Ah, oh, I guess we can join Watts' chops and watch it with him. Want some company? Hello again. Hey, Chris. Ticket not working. Mind if I watch the announcement with you? It'll be my guest. Not that I actually live here. <laughs> oh, it's starting. Oh. We chose the stars, not instead of the Earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Uh, well, we didn't, I guess, but our ancestors did. And we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Uh, left, I mean. We'd be back on Earth. And where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home, tasted its air, or gazed across its boiling seas, but we remember it. And then we made a new home, even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation, over all others, helped make that possible. All water. On that note, I'd like to introduce Madam CEO Brenna Castlechop. Castlechop, wow, she's got a very interesting haircut. Good day to you all. As you may know, I am Brenna Castlechop, the CEO of All Water Corporation. Uh. More importantly, I'm a citizen of the Fedora just like you. And it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. God. Join me in reliving and celebrating the remarkable journey we've been on together before we unveil the next step of that journey. It may have started with one man, but it took the hearts and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. That dream began at the height of the Cold War, when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. He conceived of an arc-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families, and private institutions such as the Schlippmeyer Foundation, as a gesture of global care for the human race. That ship journeyed for 200 years, was home to five generations, and sailed past many solar systems, making fascinating discoveries wow. along the way. This is so like cool. Like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply, or the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. We had difficulties to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields, periods of hopelessness, and the unpleasant, albeit brief, alien infestation. And of course, 120 years after launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. After 200 years, we finally arrived at our destination, only to find that the promising, watery planet contained no habitable landmass and dense, toxic gases in the atmosphere. Wow. Hardly the second Earth we had hoped for. No, not quite. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could, that they would cause our ship to crash, just like Icarus, but with worse luck. Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. Wasn't that a wild Ooh. ride, huh? Bravo, well we've done. We've achieved so much aboard the Fedora, but we've never stopped thinking big. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy, so we should be listening to see what the local news is. So we hatched a new plan. A state-of-the-art, deep space radio boy capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip. Yeah. And... Wait for it. Yes, we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now. That's right. Ooh, uh... The boy will be in position in another few hours. Big congratulations and thanks to All Water for making this possible. I'm excited to see what we pick up. Oh, you know. That was some announcement, huh? Sure. 
looks makes like for some nice gossip. Yeah, but I think they should fix the tube system or upgrade the TVs, eh? For this fancy boy drama, eh? Yeah, that'd be nice. What if there really is something else out there? Of course there's something out there. We should be focusing on inner space before outer, huh? <laughs> no. Yeah. Speaking of inner space, I hope the tickets are working again tomorrow. Que claro. At least I brought some homework to Mark. Those bambinos will forget everything at this rate. And you've got your trusty couch. Yep, we've gotten to know each other well. Okay, I'm gonna get some sleep. Buona notte, Chris. Buona notte, Harold. shortly be closing for the night. Please attend to the necessary travel arrangements. Get I can't remember where my fucking bed was now. Down here. Ah. Have a kip. Nothing else to do. Oh boy, what a day. Here's hoping tomorrow is a bit more relaxed. I'm assuming that means I it won't be. the day off. All You've only done anything, Harold. All for people is tiring, man. But, Agent Harrelson, that's what they pay you for. Don't let us down now. My god. Go to sleep. Ready to take his tool belt off. Alright, well. Oh, day 1000. What? Day 818. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> right, well, let's see what the down low is. Harold. Hello, Hello Professor. What did you think of that announcement? It was quite fantastically self-aggrandizing. Yes, it did go on a bit. The boy seems cool, though. Indeed. I'm sure it'll make a great source of distraction. Now, if you're quite ready... Sure. Um, ready for what? I made a breakthrough discovery at the Arboretum last night. Oh. You remember the last batch of bloomy rocks? Oh. oh, the really small ones from the last intake? The ones with the strange shapes and the little holes and... The blue ones, yes. Turns out their surface composition doesn't just give us clues about our immediate aquatic environs. I think they've picked up some influences from outer space as well. Take a look through the microscope. You'll see what I mean. Just remind me exactly how that thing works again. Harold, are you fooling me? <laughs> this will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. You need to open the hatch first. Right. Hatch open. Now activate the switch next to the bore to open the sample shelf. Uh. Oh. Over here. Why you stood there? Oh, I see. I've got you. Ooh, now then. The rock you want is in the container on the lower right. You remember right. your left and right? <laughs> Bring uh. the microscope and insert it into the hatch. Oh, I like this. No. Et voilà. Check the microscope and finally you'll see what I mean. The one you're looking at now seems to have Ooh. picked up radiation from our nearest sun. There's a particular mark for each time there's been a solar flare. 
I can only see one mark? That's the problem. There isn't enough of a recording on this one. I dated it to roughly 40 BC. So we need an older one. For... Exactly. Older ones, ideally. Although I doubt we'll have much luck catching more of them by chance. Oh, yes. We have to figure out when there's going to be a gap between flares. Flares cause the solar winds. A gap between solar storms is our only window for leaving this place. I need you to look into this, Harold. Oh, I, I'm right on it, love. an older rock, we need it procured. Yes? But if we're not going to be able to catch one, where am I supposed to start looking? You could start at Tommy's store. You and I both know that guy somehow gets hold of whatever those filter stations spit out. And then sells them at an outrageous markup. Good evening, Jean. Nice to see you, Bridget. Is the sample in the microscope? I'm really curious to inspect it. Yes, you definitely should. Oh, she said Tom's store. What the fuck is Tom's store when it's at home? Who wants me to go to Tommy's general store at the Agora Arcades? Ah, and ask if he has an old blue rock in his stash. Right, uh, yep. We certainly can do that. Now we can actually leave. Harold, when you see Cyrus, could you give him a message for me? Sure thing, yeah. Professor. Just ask him, how are the details coming along? Okay. I will ask him, but, um... Yes, yes, I know. I could ask him myself, uh, but didn't you stop to wonder why I don't want to? I no. just did stop to wonder. It's complicated, <sighs> okay? We go back a long way and don't always see eye to eye. Oh, uh... Especially on matters of categorization, nomenclature, and subsequent archiving methodology. Oh my god, what? If ever saw fit to delineate his preferred... <sighs> don't mind me, Harold. I'm trying not mean... to. Cyrus has his stubborn phases, and I just can't talk to him when he's in one. Okay, say no more. Your message is safe with me. Actually, Harold... No, it's okay. Nothing. What? Run along now. Oh my god, okay. Well, let's give him the message before we actually leave, that makes more sense. Oh, we can run! Oh my giddy shit, that's changed my life. Oh shit, hold on. Oh, yes. No stopping us now, baby. Oh. Huh? You're not in here? I'm going there. I don't think, I don't think he'll be in here, but I want to check just in case I don't have to come back. To the arcade. Agora Arcades. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic Thanks. day. Oh well. You may now exit the tube. Utterly unconcerned for your own oh safety. God, here we no go. respect for authority. Wanton disregard for the future of humanity. Harold, good timing. You can explain things to the major, can't you? Harold, Hi. come here and explain things. And yourself. Major, I'm just passing through. I really don't know what this is about. Hi, Felix. So you're not here to make excuses for this diminutive delinquent? 
It's a key. Not diminutive. I've just got longer to live than you. <laughs> and Harold, tell him about our plan. Harold, I thought I told you to stay out of trouble. I, I am. Known you'd be wrapped up in this. I'm Fucking not in trouble. Jesus. There is no plan. Are you questioning my authority oh, and God. your organizational merit? What? No. God, he knows himself. I, if I find out you're a bad influence on young He's a bad influence on me. me. Major. Whatever Felix did, I'm sure it was meant innocently. It wasn't. And how would you know about that? Unless you're in league with him. Oh my good lord. He's just a kid. I just meant... I mean, if you just relax. Relax? Oh god. Harold, you're really starting to tweak my beak. Well, you've already tweaked my beak. What did Felix do anyway? Utterly unconcerned for his own safety, no respect or authority, wanton disregard. He's a kid. Really, Major, under whose jurisdiction is Harold in trouble? Mine! I'm the law here. Felix, will you be a witness to this? Absolutely. And can you testify to Harold's involvement? Only if he's willing to testify to mine. Harold, what? tell the truth now. It'll be easier in the long I don't run. know what is happening. I haven't <sighs> witnessed anything to testify. Damn it. Then the case is in danger of falling apart. I'm sure Felix's parents will deal with this. Good point. They should really be present while you question me, Major. Yeah, I agree. Only a minor. Don't you throw the book at me, son. Where are they anyway? I don't know. And good luck finding them. Oh no, Felix. Have you lost them? Harold, leave this to the professionals. Felix, do you mean to tell me you've neglected to file a missing person or persons report? Shouldn't we look for them? Don't change the subject. But Major, what is the subject? Yeah, right, what is Harold? the subject? No, you're right. If, and I mean if, you're acting as some kind of heroic big brother figure to this young I'm man, not, I, don't like I expect him. you to be a positive influence. I, we, there's no... Come on, spit it out, man. Just leave me alone, Sandstrom. I've got fish to feed. Okay, Harold, but your fish won't save you if I catch you red-handed. Now, Felix. Oh, I really don't like Felix? that man. He's getting oh. up the crack of my ass. Felix? In the words of Harold, Pete Burns. You've lost him. <laughs> Fucking unclench! Just unclench your ass cheeks for a second. Oh god, look at the little fucking face on that. That's adorable. Oh, hello! <laughs> hello, Mr. Secretary. Uh, eight, right? I'm afraid not. You must be thinking of my brother, Secretary Eight. Or Secretary Twenty-Four, of course. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. I always get that mixed up. There are just three of you, right? Well, now, uh, three of us work for Old Water, yes. Oh, so there's another who doesn't? Hmm, yes, Secretary Eight is the man to ask about that. He remembers it all much better than I do. Remembers? Okay, sounds serious. Anyway, I'm neglecting my post. Welcome to the Agora Arcades. Would you like to partake in the monthly Old Water Raffle Bonanza? <laughs> oh, sure. Wait, is it free to enter? Certainly. Oh, good. Well, then, in that case. A generous gesture of frivolity from all water to you, the citizens of Fedora. What are the prizes? What are the prizes? Well, there's a long list of luxuries, a plethora of pleasurable prizes. The full list can be perused at your leisure on the All Water Public Access Forum. All right, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. I'll just spin her up. Drum roll, please. Yeah. And... Looks like you were unlucky this time. But that's what? Life. Well, that's a fucking con. Time. You didn't even spin it properly. I saw you. Yes. Con in me out of a raffle. Ooh, look at this, boy! Message. John Slippy Jr. What? Yes, Slippy's double black diamond deals are now on, for one day only. Don't sleep on Slippy's exclusive new campaign launch event. Visit Slippies today. <laughs> Alright. 
What we gotta do? Uh, oh yeah, best just for Cyrus. Wants me to go to Tommy. Yeah, we go to Tommy General Store. Right. Oh, there's people. What we got here? Slippies. Another one spamming me with spam messages. Oceans. Oh, that's quite a cool place. Look at that. Oh, this is well smart. Uh, that's not open, I guess. There's oh. the blue rock. Ah, the bane of my day. Where's Tommy when you need him? There's the blue rock. Where's Tommy when you? Okay. And what does Tommy look like? This! Everything looks so cool! Doppeldecker. Oh my god. Oh Jesus! Oh! Oh my god, yes. Oh shit! Oh, I'm not gonna fly in. Anyone that knows me knows I'm not gonna fly in. Oh my giddy shit. Oh my giddy shit. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh my, no. Oh no, I'm going. Oh no, I'm going to the shop. Where's it taking me? Uh, right, yeah. <laughs> okay, no, I hate that. What's this? Rapid force. Oh, another flying one. Are you serious? I think not. I'm not having that. Alright. So <laughs> to you. Oh, hey, Rafi. Hmm, Harold. Is everything okay? The tube route to the school in the social district is out. Oh, right. Makes sense. Annoying. That's not what's annoying. Oh? Kids. Everywhere. All the time. No school means no I mean, you are no an arcade, kids. I mean... They're just hanging around. Taking space. Playing all the arcades. Uh, oh, dear. Dear. Not doing out. But isn't that what this place is for? Yeah, thank Mother? you. That's what I said. Oh, I see. Good luck. What a miserable git. They're not doing any harm. They're not fucking shouting or squawking her out. Mm. I'll talk to you a lot. No, I don't want to play that again. Not, not the game for me. Oh, this is the door. Okay, I've got a stage. Who are you? Oh, or not. Hey, how is it going, Harold? Not too shabby, thanks. How about you? I'm super, actually. I found a book. Oh, cool. What kind of book? It was just discovered. A book written on Earth. 
Nobody on the station has read it yet. Apart from me. Wow, what's it about? Stick around and you'll find out. My newest performance piece is a reading of it. Oh, oh nice. Which part? <sighs> all of it, Harold, all of it. Without interruption. What? It's gonna be a while. Oh, I was gonna be a long fucking ride, no thanks. Wow, okay. Good luck. Oh my god, everyone get your fucking blankets because you'll be a fucking asleep. You. My shorts. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, Harold. Great to see you. How about that announcement, eh? Yeah, it was really something. It sure was. I try not to busy myself with those kinds of affairs. I'm just happy you're joining in for the station job. Uh, the I'm job? not. Uh, I was only... Chris promised me he'd be here any minute. Now we've really got a jog team on our hands. I'm not jogging. I think I'll pass. No one's forcing you, Harold. Good. But why don't you keep me company until Chris arrives? Okay, that I can do. How's the post today? Ah, oh, it's a bit slow, what with the tube to the utility district being out. So I can't really work. Not working makes me so restless. I hope it's back soon. Good thing you have the arcades to jog around. Yep. And Chris can't get to the school for the same reason. So at least we'll have plenty of time to work out together. That young man is almost as fit as me. Why do I feel like I'm the odd one out? Oh my oh, Jesus. Jesus. Last to arrive, first I used to wear in a row. That's my motto. Harold, won't you stay? The jog team won't be the same without you. Well, you're yeah, gonna have to be. Harold. You can't leave now, I just got here. Jog team, jog team, jog team. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, okay. Go jock team. <laughs> Come oh, what? No, I didn't know. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, gee. Guys. Uh, what? Guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Where are they? I thought I was. Go on. Without me. No, I'm gonna die. Oh wait, I've got a message. Oh good. <laughs> good show, Harold. How's everyone feeling? I'm dead. I think there was a new personal best for me. Fine. Oh, good for you. Fine, thanks, buddy. How do you both keep so fit? Oh, you know me, Harold. I've been running around this station for years. Gotta keep up my reputation for same day service after all. Healthy body, healthy mind. That's what keeps me going. Gotta set a good example for those lazy students of mine, too. <laughs> Have you got any tips? Just keep on moving, Harold. Oh, yeah, great, thanks. You never know when you'll have to slow down. So keep going while you can. Okay, thanks. Oh. Someone's put graffiti on the wall. It's an eyesore. Please clean it off. To that. And so I found this fucking Tommy, he's not in yet. Okay. Okay. Big fish man. Who are you? Hello. Yeah, hey, man. Welcome to the fish fish hut. Sample our homegrown fedora fish or our freshwater catch of the day. And what's the catch of the day today? Today, we have the great spotted super grouper. Mm. Sounds tasty. Just out of interest, is that a native fish? Hard to tell, man. You know, a few of the ship's fish escaped during the crash. So we don't know if they thrive in the ocean, or even intermingle with native species. But, we can guarantee that fresh super grouper taste you know and love. Yeah, I think I'll pass. Who are you? You're no one. <laughs> You're nobody! Anything over this side?
you're cool. So be cool all of the time with my patented Consta Cool fabrics. Jesus. So you see, that's the slippy difference. And if you just watch this exciting infomercial, ah, uh, Harold, if it isn't my favorite multi maintenance man. Wait, are you sure I can't interest you in. Huh. Oh, never mind. Hello. How's business? You're an everyman, right? I've made a new ad, and I need your opinion. I mean, I think it's great, but maybe it's too high concept. Oh, well, I'm not really qualified to. Nonsense. Just watch. Oh, God. I was trying to read a book in the comfort of my own home, but my own home wasn't comfortable. It was too hot to concentrate. Okay. Will I ever be able to read to my children or enjoy the adventures of the Fedora 4 from my armchair again? Why, yes, of course you will. Well, With my patented, tried and tested aircon system, you'll always be able to keep your brain, books, and body sweat free and as cool as Ooh. Jimson Jameson ah. himself. Please note, Slippy's aircon system is not officially endorsed by the creators of the Fedora 4 or their likenesses. <sighs> Sometimes I just can't get cozy. How's a man supposed to look after his family with cold arms? <laughs> what? My family are depending on me. <laughs> what am I going to do? That's hilarious. Clad yourself in one of our triple insulating cozy jackets and matching thermal underwear, of course. <laughs> You know what they say, warm hands, warm hearts. Slippies means heritage. I'm the latest in a long tradition of winter sports enthusiasts. Slipmeyers throughout history have kept everyone from royalty to the common man warm and cozy in their pursuits of the great outdoors. Slippies means social responsibility. The Schlippmeyers were one of the most generous sponsors of the Fedora One project, giving back to the people, oh, like sharing music. their knowledge of insulation technologies and considerable wealth to keep humanity warm and cozy among the stars. Right. Remember, you deserve to live and work at whatever temperature is right for you. With over 200 years of expertise, you can bet the weather forecast shows slippies across the board. Come in out of the cold and into Slippy. This advert is going on a long time, Slippies. pal. Heat protection so good, it'll be a cold day in hell. I've got things to do. Well, Jesus what do you Christ. Think? I, well, uh. It was slick like you. Uh, what did I just watch exactly? Please let me live. Uh, what? Uh, no, let's be nice. Even though, well, I, uh, yeah. It was slick like you. Um, it was. There were lots of things, and... Uh, Great! So glad you agree. And while you're here... I was just going... Ah, oh, come on. You can't go without testing my new half-pipe experience. Oh, God, it's no. It's new and improved by a little modification to my patented aircon system that I'm calling the Freezer! Is that... Do I have to... I'm glad you asked. It combines precise atmospheric condition synthesis with the ski sim to recreate the most lifelike experience of skiing you can Do you not know of. me. That sounds... Uh, wait. Me? Skiing? But I don't... Nonsense. I'm sure you're a natural. Now let's get you strapped ah. in. Oh, Jesus. All right, well... Is it, this is the greatest moment of my life. What is this? What is this? Oh, hold on. No, wait a minute. <gasps> okay. What the fuck do I do? Oh. <laughs> oh, Harold. <sighs> you were really blown away by it, huh? Oh, that tickled First me. First time's the hardest. It's all downhill from there. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm slippy by name, but you're slippy by nature. Don't seem <laughs> slippy. I guess so. I'd really better go now. Sure, sure, but just so you know, I run a pretty generous referral scheme. If Mate, I don't care. For every customer you get. Fuck off. 
Okay, Harold. Be skiing, ya. That was funny. I fully approve. I fully endorse that. I'm going here. Tim, what do you think about the announcement then? I think it sounds exciting, Alon. You think everything sounds exciting? Well, that new boy thing and all. Might give us something new to natter about. That new boy, Zim? What's it gonna pick up anyway? Alien radio drama? Oh, you Not never sure, know, mate. Maybe we'll get some fancy pictures. Seems to me be more interesting to go sideways than You better be who top. I'm looking for. You're going sideways, Alon. Right you are, Zim. It's all this sitting right Hey, Tommy. Hey! I don't suppose you'll be back in the shop soon? Oh. <sighs> or, I mean, I can come back later? Oh, no. What do you need? It's just that the professor and I need some sea rocks. I mean, filter rocks from older times that have come from the filters. And I feel like you might have one. Shh, quiet. Don't be mentioning filter Frankie. You know that every piece of my inventory is legally obtained or, or legally found. My right? ass. Right. Sure. <laughs> That's why I'm here to legally acquire an item of yours that you may have. Okay, look and listen here, Longy Long Pants. I shut the <laughs> door for a reason, you know? Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you Longy Long Pants. <laughs> no, it's fine. Then. You sure you don't want me to come back another time? Uh. It's fine. I'm just feeling sorry for myself. Oh, God, I don't know. I've got this feeling that my I didn't ask. angel wife don't care about me no more. Oh. No, I know I'm oversharing again. Yeah, you are. Tommy, you gotta stop oversharing. No, it's called trauma Look, dumping. Stop dumping way, on I'm me. I'm not gonna be of any help to you today. Ah, uh, if you're sure. Yeah, you just caught me on a blue note. That's all. blue. Can I have that blue rock? I'm spending so much time with that beautiful chunk of marble. You know the guy in the silk robe and the flowing locks. Ah, oh, I do know. Oh, he's worried his wife is having an affair with a hunky man. Um, check on Bridget. Okay. The fuck is Bridget when she's at home? Uh, tell me if you start opening up the general store because of relationship stuff with Bridget. Maybe I should go to the energy district and see if there's something I can. Ah, right, okay. I don't know where Cyrus is yet. So we're going to the energy district. Energy districts. Destination determined. Now relax with all water. Please halt for your You're here. Inspection. Thank you for choosing Inspection. all water tubes. Contaminant detected. Close your eyes. What the fuck Procedure is that like? Begin in three, two. Please do not panic. Uh. The fuck is that? Get through the door, you fanny ass. Welcome. Please submit to a gentle disinfecting. No. Ah, there they are, look! Look at the fucking size on him next to her. Oh, there's Bridget. And Chris? What are they doing in there? I can't hear them, but maybe I can lip read. Hmm, seems like Bridget is pretty excited about something. It looks like she's saying... I don't fucking know, I can't see her lips. It's unacceptable. Tommy would realize. Uh, it's just not worth the risk. Ooh, Chris is replying. Let's see.
it's totally worth any risk. Anyway, we should get back before people notice. There's no way that's what they I'm said. Pretty mysterious. Now I wish I'd never skipped those lip reading classes. going Hang in here Ooh. oh hello yes yours are you I need you brilliant hello Sai. how's it going oh it's been tough Harold every detail has a detail it's like this Philip Reed no oh, uh, it's good you're here actually oh, yeah? right, no, I'm not doing it what do you need well I'm having a bit of difficulty with a 3d printer it's leaving gaps everywhere. Oh, okay. Shall I take a look? Yes, please. But I hope you're better with technology than you are with the ladies. Uh, um, who says I'm interested in ladies? So anyway, see if you make assumptions about Harold. This printer, it's third dimension back. Very presumptuous. Must say. to undo the screws first to remove the front panel. Ooh, uh... Okay, I like this. It's official. Oh, we're doing all of it. You can trust old Harold to undo a fucking screw. I've only got to remember where everything goes, because... I think you're nearly there. Yeah, thanks. I like how he's just... dropping the fucking screws to the floor. You're gonna lose them. Um, it gives me anxiety. Ooh, something happened then. Uh, keep going. Ah ha ha! We found the problem. Now, you see that hole? Oh, so I got my screwdriver. <laughs> uh, oh, what are you fucking laughing at? I'm sorry, Harold, I... Jeez, that's gonna kill me, damn son. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Sai, was the printer even broken? Mm, maybe, maybe. Oh my. If it's any consolation, I discovered this little trick the hard way. Ow! Why didn't you just fix it then? Well, where would the fun have been in that? I'm not sure I'd like your idea of fun. Yeah, I don't mm, either. Funny. Sunny says the same thing to me. But I guess she didn't like your idea of fun either, eh? Ow. Think of it as a wake up call, Harold. Yeah, a little extra juice. What? Oh, fucking frying me, son! Moreau asked me to ask you, how are the details coming along? Oh, thanks, Harold. Just like her to ask that. Huh. 
Is it? Um, anyway, see you next time, Sai. Well, he didn't tell us anything to tell her, so that was a fucking pointless waste of time. All I did was get electrocuted. You bastard. Uh, Harold, uh, one more thing. No. What is it, Sai? Could you take Maro a message? Yep. I suppose. Is it just gonna be like hers? No, 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 nothing like that. It's something definitely unrelated. So, what's the message? Oh. Okay, fine. You got me. Happy? Just tell her procedure smeecher and that she puts the why are you in Cyrus. I don't know that's such a good idea. I mean, what is this whole thing about exactly anyway? She started it. Back in the day, I feel she was part of the archive club. She was always so darn keen to throw away all the rules and invent new archiving procedures. She called it a healthy distrust for calcified mental models. But all it did was stop us ever getting anything done. So, you disagreed about archiving? Precisely. Wow. Well, it was fundamental. I mean, we respected each other's work, but there was this deep difference. And I guess neither of us was willing to budge. So, what did you decide about the archives? That's not important anymore. Come on, man. Sometimes you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Okay. So, no message for her? <sighs> Just tell her I say hi. She'll know <clears throat> what I mean. Okay. All right. Catch you later, Sai. Whatever you say, Sai. Definitely can't go in there. Okay. Back to speak to Tommy. Welcome. Fuck off. Location nominated. Journey commencing. How do we not get wet? You. Every time we go into the tube. Thank you for traveling with all water. Yeah, you're welcome. know about Filter Frankie? Filter Frankie? Yeah, Frankie, who likes filters. <coughs> Hence, Filter Frankie. Right, well I heard he's always mucking about in the filters, digging up all sorts that he sells to Tommy. What I want to know is, why doesn't anyone just go down there and find stuff? Have you ever been down to filters, Alon? Nah, you? I got shown him once. Not very appealing, and technically off limits. Yeah, well right then. There we go. Who you reckon he or indeed she is then? I'm I'm sorry to bother you again, but I went looking for Mrs. Vandervart, and she was at the harvest office. Non news. It's her office. Where else would she be? I know, but it's more who was there with her that I thought you know I should mention. What? Who is she with? It looked totally professional. I didn't see anything bad. Just Senor Tinnerbaum. Ah, uh, what? What's he doing in her office? There's no way he knows enough about energy. If I still had my own hair, it would never have come to this. Oh my god, it's not um, about hair. I'm sure it's not like that. I just... You don't understand, Harold, what it's like to get old. But I'll be damned if I'm gonna take this lying down. Tommy, I don't think you should, uh, get angry. And you're in on this with me now, Harold. You did the right thing bringing this to me. I didn't I'm bring really nothing. I'm sure it's nothing, just a lunch chat. I've just been so busy working on this oh, damn God. store sign, thinking Bridget would love the ambition, you know? See me as a real go-getter again. Oh, because you made a sign. But maybe this whole time I should have been showing her signs of my love. Well, I'll bet she knows you. You're absolutely right. We'll modify the sign. We won't. Tonight. Make it into a great big sparkly neon proclamation of my, nay, our love. A sign she won't be able to miss. Oh, God. A sign to blind that glossy maned Casanova. I mean, I'm not sure that's <laughs> the sign. Don't doubt it, Harold. This is going to work. I just feel it. You're in, right? Oh, Will you yeah. help me save our love? Uh, 
Yeah, uh, I'll try. Knew I could count on you. Let's get to work. I, I, why did I get roped into this? Good lord. Is that it? I'm gonna go freshen up a little. Might even put on a different outfit now Talk that I it. Will you go and look for Bridget for me? Oh, for God's sake. My dear Bridget, I'm sorry we haven't been able to spend much time together recently. I think so gonna change I your outfit. how you might be attracted to the man-machine with the flowing looks of an angel that you call your friend. But I do beg you to give me another chance. Please, Bridget, will you let me back into your heart and take this monument to our love as a sign of my great affection? Tommy, of course I love you. And I would never betray you. I just wanted to give you some space. I saw you working so hard on your new sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Couldn't tell me what? Oh, what the heck. The ship's facing some issues with the energy budget. I knew you would need a lot of light for your sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Ha! No way we've got an energy problem here. Uh, well, that uh, was it. seems you were wrong. No helping Tinner Bomb with his spray tan? That was it. <laughs> No spray tan. I'm so sorry, Buttercupsy. I love you. I love you. Well, brilliant. <laughs> can I get me rock so I can leave? <laughs> thank you for your help, Harold. I was hoping you'd accept this stone as a thank you. Uh, oh, oh, what? No. no. Aurora won't be happy to hear about this. Oh, what? Ah, oh, Harold. Listen, about the rock, I'm really sorry it's gone. You know, I would have loved for you to have it. Ah, uh, it's okay, Tommy. It wasn't your fault. I just feel bad, you know? I was so wrapped up in my own stuff, maybe... Ah, uh, I don't know. Thanks, Tommy. Maybe it'll turn up. I'm just glad you and Bridget made up. Thanks, Harold. You're a swell guy. Thanks. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Let you know if I hear anything. Thanks, Tommy. Major? Harold! If it transpires you had anything to do with this wanton <sighs> violation of Code 7887, then so... No, no. I want to find the rock more than anyone. Hmm. Say I believe you. Can you think of anything that might help us find the culprits? No. I'm sorry, Major. I'll let you know if I think of anything. See that you do. That missing rock is a stain on my sheet of justice. I don't like him. Bye, Major. <sighs> Be good, Harold. Bridget? Harold, how are you doing? Ah, uh, you know, same old. Yep, same old here too. Energy issues? You heard that, Mr. Busy Ears? Ugh, but yes. I mean, we've always got to be careful and efficient. And, you know, this isn't public. But I want to be extra careful right now until we figure out what's going on. Is the station using more energy than it used to? Well, yeah. Especially the transportation system. And the damn tubes or tickets never work and just get more expensive all the time anyway. Right. Uh, why don't we reduce the tube transportation system? How does NG production even work? Remind me why we can't just reduce the transport system? Huh, I ask myself the same thing. Every time we add some new upgrade or expand it, it eats up more energy. Our production process doesn't get any more efficient. Plus, when we held an anonymous vote about it, the majority of Fedorans said they'd rather have more transport now rather than more energy later. So... Right, okay. You know, I'm not sure I've ever understood exactly how the energy process works. Gosh, why are you asking me this now? It's not exactly a line answer. Look, if you really want to know, swing by the energy I don't, actually. I just... I'll break it down for you. I don't. I better go. Thanks, Bridget. See you, Harold.
Uh, I wish it didn't have to be me, but someone has got to tell Moreau. Blue Rock is gone. Ty's told me to say hi to Moreau. Second number 17 told me mysterious fourth brother. What number eight might want to tell me more? We don't know who, who the fuck is. I don't know who that is. Let's go back. Back to the lab. Oh. oh hello. your message oh thank you miss zoodle pleased to make your acquaintance so it's from felix he says there's something he wants to show you and to expect a secret message soon oh what why i mean and why couldn't he just have said that to me himself i don't know go ask him my work here is done Later's, mister thanks uh, all, right. all right thanks Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Right, so apparently there's some graffiti somewhere. Ah, where's home? Interesting. Ugh. Graffiti. What good is asking where is home anyway? Where else are we gonna go? Could they just leave some notes around? <laughs> I wonder if this is the light keepers again, or just someone copying their style. Will they ever reveal themselves? Probably not. Oh, I'm doing it, am I? Yeah. I do like a simulator. I like a game that has simulator elements to it. No, I didn't clean it all off. Oh no, I don't like that. That's going to trigger me. Why has it stopped it there? That's annoying. Well, oh. oh! Please remember, the all water tube system is shortly closing for the night. Get snug, not stranded. Oh, she's still there, look. Professor, you're not going to believe this. Why does that not surprise me? The blue rock, it's gone. You found it? You lost it? It was stolen from Tommy's store. This is utterly vexatious, Harold. I know. Oh, and I also got a message from Cyrus for you. Out with it, then. He says... Hi. Hi? Just hi? Yeah, just that. He said you'd know what it means. He's a sly one sometimes. I'll give him that. Stubborn as a mule. What's a mule? <laughs> oh, don't start, Harold. I've got to think of a comeback. I mean... Get some important work done. What should we do? We? I need time to think. Madam CEO, you're going to want to hear this. I'm listening. It's the new boy, ma'am. It's picked up a signal that we have reason to believe originates from Earth. Oh! Uh, have you reverse dated the transmission? We have. It was sent in 2102. So 126 wow. years after we left. Things would have been pretty rock bottom back there by then. Let's hear what was important enough for them to call after us. Maybe it was their final farewell, huh? 
I hope it's nothing too awkward. Okay, I'll send a copy via... Well, just play it to me. I've got a 1205. But, Mom, it's only 10. And one of those. Okay, playing back now. This is Earth. Earth to the Fedora. Boy, he was sure hope you're all okay. Whoever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. Johnston! Cut the damn line! You're live! What the hell is what? going on? Oh, fudge. Professor, did you hear that strange message? Well, yeah, she's not dead. It's hard to miss. It's the first message from Earth. Ever? Certainly in my lifetime, at least. I wonder, what kind of message would a dying civilization speculatively send to a ship that can never return? What do you think it means? It means that the fact Allwater haven't shared it publicly yet means they're thinking about how to turn it to their advantage. What if it's not the first message? Don't be paranoid, Harold. What uh, the authority would they have for keeping messages from what? us? Still, even if they had planned to share it immediately, they look suspicious now. Gosh, that message could be anything. Maybe they've got information for us about our mission. Hmm. Well, what could that information be? If we presuppose... I look at the phone. Yes? Oh, it's you. Huh. Yes? No. Indubitably. Fine. What? 15%? Out of the question. Okay, sure. See you shortly. Harold, I want you to come with me. Huh? To where? What? Who was that? Why? It was the CEO of Allwater Corp, of course, asking me to jump. Jump? What for? How high? Uh. Indeed, Harold. Indeed. Well, unfortunately for my bath, she was adamant we went there immediately. She even unlocked our tube tickets for emergency night travel. Oh, the plot okay. thickens. What does she want with us? Well, what indeed? we'll soon find out, won't we? You end it there and I don't Come find on. out. I'm going to Let's scream. Let's not keep Her Highness waiting. <gasps> don't you dare. I want to know on and all the goss. Oh, Crisis control. We need to get out there ahead of the turn in public sentiment. First move advantage and get this working for us, not against us. Yes. Come in, come in, come in. Well, now, that's a fancy fucking know, office. Time is of the essence. Is it? Sorry. Where are my manners? Would either of you like something to drink? Ah, uh, I suppose I uh, might like a coffee. Have it's a cocktail. Really no time for coffee. Time is of the essence. You just asked me if I want a drink. Okay, sir. Would you like to sit? No, thank you. I prefer to stand. Oh, a woman of action. I love that. Okay. Anyway, we must act. Due to the unfortunate Communic incident, we've been forced to move up the schedule. It's imperative we deliver some good news about the start procedure. Hmm. I suppose that wouldn't hurt. To that effect, Professor. And, um, you there. I'll need you to supervise Cyrus directly. We can't afford for any unforeseen delays. Cyrus, he works best undisturbed. The man is a stubborn buffoon, but there's no doubting his thoroughness. Professor, please. It would do this old heart good to know that you were keeping a watchful eye on him. Or maybe your, um, protege here could do it. I'll hang out with, I mean, watch Sai, sure. If it makes you happy, Madame CEO, oh. we'll make sure Cyrus delivers. Great. Music to my ears. Thank you both. You've done all water and the ship a great service. We're ready. Go live and stay on schedule. What? It's my privilege to announce to you all today that our new boy program has already proven an unmitigated success. We present to you now the full and unedited audio that represents oh, the first is it gonna be unedited message though? we've received in our lifetimes. Now, before the message plays, I'd like to take a moment to reiterate just how proud we should all be of progress on the new start procedures. 
It won't be long before we're ready for the first attempt, the latest in a long line of steps on the road to a greater, brighter future for us all. Please enjoy this message, brought to you by the All Water Corporation. This is, uh, uh, to the fedora. Boy, we sure hope you're all okay, whomever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. Things were pretty rocky here when you left, of course, and, you know, that was what? a great move. Probably the right decision at the time. We didn't know whether to even tell you this, but we figured maybe it would give you some comfort way out there in the freezing clutches of deep space. <laughs> what? Oh, right. Yeah, I guess. Or, I mean, even better, the comforting, warm embrace of a lovely, habitable new planet. Well, we just wanted to let you know that we pulled together down here. <laughs> the sparrows calmed down and things pretty much worked themselves out. Life still isn't perfect. Bananas died out. And you've got to be pretty careful <laughs> around water. Uh. But by and large, we're back on track. I've survived. Wish we could send you a postcard. Wow. Anyway, be safe and maybe one day we'll get a hello from you. We'll be listening. What are you all still doing here? Don't you have work or something to do? Scram! <laughs> Retreat to the lab. What's this? I don't know what this open door is. That's, well, the ominous. Right. Here. Why am I here? AC, we rebranded from the Municipal Freshwater Clarification Agency to All Water Corporation. Hello, are you who I need? Why do you look weird? Welcome. I am All Water oh. Automated Secretary Number One. How may I assist your All Water related learning? Oh God. No. I'm sorry, I really don't want to talk to you. <laughs> All Water Corporation wishes you a pleasant day. I got to talk to you for any particular. Oh, good. Should I be here? Oh, button, press it. <laughs> oh, that's the left. Speak to him. <clears throat> Captain at Large Baronhout? Ah, uh, hello. Uh, how are you, uh, um. I'm Harold Halibut, sir. Uh, yes, I'm sure you are. For Harold, tell me, have you ever felt lost? Oh. I always get lost around here. Uh, no, Harold, I mean, feeling like you have no purpose. I know my purpose, but sometimes it doesn't seem very important. You heard the leak, I presume? Yeah, of course. That leak, that one message, it's undone me. If my whole family, this whole mission, the ship, my captaincy at large, <laughs> what if it was all a mistake? Oh, I see. Well... Maybe Earth didn't get as bad as people thought it would, but we're still us. And you know, it wasn't us that chose to fly away. I suppose. Speaking of which, have you ever lost someone, Harold? Have you? Yes. 
Someone important. She's gone, Harold. Oh, my boy. I'm so sorry to hear that. What happened? Coco has taken an... unscheduled leave of absence. Oh, so she's not lost forever? No, I'm sure she'll return eventually. But every moment oh, without God. her, I spend in longing and despair. Is it anyone I might know? My beloved? Her name is Coco. Oh, not sure I've ever met her. Do you want to see a picture? What the fuck is Coco that? Coco is a bird. Harold, you're such an understanding sort. Could you try to find her for me? Oh, Lord. I'd look for her myself, but in these uncertain times, I think it's best I don't leave my post. So, about Coco... Yes. Such a loyal first mate. Does she maybe have any favorite hiding places? Hmm. Not that I know of. I did find her once in a broom closet trying to hatch a sea sponge inside my hat. <laughs> I promised to keep an eye out for her. Oh my god. Oh, Harry. I hope she's okay. I'm not sure she has another friend in the world. Are you sure you wanted to be me looking for her? Whatever are you implying? I'm sure you're perfectly capable, aren't you? Uh, I'm you don't know me, so, you know. Engaged. Bye. I'm not capable. I'm the exact opposite. you on your choice of destination. That's crazy. They fled Earth and then Earth turned out to be fine. We get you where you're going. Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Just no. contact your nearest yeah. and all water will make it up to you. Hey, Professor. Oh, are those the new teacups? Come and see for yourself. Oh, I promise I ordered them. Harold, just look. What is it? What is it? When you are lost in the dark, you have to go deeper to find your way out. The light keeper. Because... Ooh, why did they give us a rock? Ah! Harold Halibut! What Learning a... about people is a kind of adventure. A way of exploring lots of little worlds that exist within the fedora. Even if one of those little worlds looks barren and uninhabitable from the outside, usually when you make contact with it, You'll find plenty of life and laughter there. Hello again, my alien fish bud. How are you doing? Too bad you can't tell me. Oh. <gasps> Hello. Oh. Were you? I quite wondered if maybe you'd take Harold with you. Me? To the cave? Yes. <gasps> to investigate the source of the particles. Oh my god, look at all this! Humans are so unpredictable and complicated. Oh my god, there's so there's much more to understand. Please witness the future of Fedora. I thought you said it wasn't a vote. It's not. I just happen to agree with them. 
Is that not a computer? You may commence stage D as discussed. Oh my word. Hmm. Something is afoot. Too many things that don't add up. It all seems a bit fishy to me. Gorgeous By the game. Way, he's saying he's a human. What an absolute gorgeous masterpiece. That is one of the best things I have played in a long time. Like you can tell there is so much love and heart gone into that. What an absolute gem. I will be definitely playing the full game. I absolutely adore that. I love the characters, the voice acting, the, everything. Perfect. Brilliant. Well bloody done. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this and... The dog's starting to be an utter dickhead. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video. ta -ra.